How's it going, my peeps? So welcome back to the channel for yet another pumpkin spice creation. Now, throughout the entire year, I try to come up with ideas. Whenever I do, I write them down. And for the longest time, I had this idea for a warm autumn pot pie of sorts. I wanted the base to be something pumpkin, obviously. I wanted to include apples in some way, but I couldn't really think of what to make the base until I was reading through my idea list and saw a pumpkin risotto on there. Originally, that was gonna be a completely separate recipe and maybe down the line it will be, but that kind of popped the idea into my head to make a pumpkin spice rice pudding served warm with a layer of bourbon fried apples and then presented like a pot pie with some puff pastry on top. It sounds a little bit weird, I know, but I've been testing it for a while now, and I think I got it in a pretty good spot, so bear with me, please. That just scared the shit out of me. Why does stuff keep happening behind me? I'm a little scared. This is not planned. Let's hope nothing else comes crashing down on me, but let's get right into this one. Alright, so like I said, this is going to come together in three components. You've got your pumpkin spice rice pudding, your bourbon fried apples, and the puff pastry on top. And to make all of that, you will need some granulated sugar and whole milk, some kosher salt and arborio rice, vanilla bourbon and a sweet pie pumpkin, some warm water, a vanilla bean, pumpkin pie spice, puff pastry sheets, a few different kinds of apples and butter, some brown sugar, a lemon, and an egg. I got started by prepping everything up. You've got to chop your pumpkin in half, scoop out the innards, that sounded gross, I'm sorry, and then roast it until the flesh gets nice and soft and you can blend it into a puree. I didn't specify in the recipe if I wanted you to use a canned or make your own because it doesn't really matter. This may be a little bit better, but the cans are pretty good too. I hope you're all enjoying your spooky season so far. Again, I feel like this year went so damn quick. It always just springs upon us out of nowhere. And this year I tried to be like more prepared and more on top of everything and it still just like slapped me in the face. And now we're already halfway through it, so that's just life for you. Time is unfair. I also got started with my apples. I was debating for a while if I wanted to mix these into the actual pudding at the end or leave them as a separate layer and I landed on keeping them separate. And I'm not really sure why. I just think it makes it more interesting with some layers. And the preparation for these is super simple. If you want like a garnish on really any kind of pie, some different desserts, fry some apples in some butter and bourbon and spices and then use that reduction for anything. It is so good. Complete side note too, uh, the first couple passes of this recipe, I was really dead set on trying to add some texture and I was gonna go with a candied pumpkin of sorts. I had this idea to kind of roast uh, some pieces of pumpkin that were coated in sugar. I thought if it was at a high enough temperature, maybe the sugar would melt and caramelize. And I never really got it to work. I think there's just too much moisture going on in these pumpkins. Uh, when I have more time, maybe one day I'll figure it out. And now over to the rice. There's a lot of very optional things here. I notated them all in the recipe down in the description for you. I used arborio rice in this because I really liked the end consistency, but feel free to use whatever rice you got. I toasted the rice in some butter at the very beginning because I think that adds a little bit of nutty depth. Again, totally optional. And then at the very end of this, I threw in a little bit of orange icing color just to, you know, really hammer down that there is pumpkin in here. One of my main goals with the rice portion of this video is to come up with something super easy, all in one pot that anybody can do and get good results. A bunch of other rice pudding recipes tend to use two or three different pots. A lot of times they use pre-cooked or partially cooked rice in water and then with some milk and heavy cream. But this I got some really good results with. You dump everything in the pan. It is four and a quarter cups of liquid, which seems like a lot, but half of it is water. So a lot of it's gonna evaporate and the rest of it is gonna suck up all that starch. This ended up being just as thick and creamy as if you used all milk, even with some heavy cream in there. And very lastly, you gotta roll out a sheet of puff pastry. This is one of those things I really can never recommend you make at home. It is so difficult and temperamental and the store-bought stuff is just fine. You wanna cut your circles just barely larger than the size of your cooking vessels, in my case, some small ramekins. 
And just make sure the entire outer rim gets some egg wash to adhere the dough down, and then of course the top does as well. You bake them off at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until the dough is nice and puffy and golden brown. And only now can we give a taste to this month's second pumpkin spice creation. That is what we like to hear. It's just something about the smell of puff pastry with egg wash and warm apples and uh, artificial fog suffocating you. Mm hmm As much as I still wish I was able to crack the candied pumpkin so I had a little bit more going on here texturally, this is great. The rice is super creamy. It's got such a pleasant warmth in spices and in temperature. I really love the cook on these apples, how they have the tiniest little bit of crunch in the very middle. And who doesn't love warm, thin, crispy layers of puff pastry? This whole thing is pretty good, if I do say so myself. The last thing I will say about this, um, and the last tip, if you are gonna make this, don't bake it ahead of time. R wait until you're ready to eat them and then bake them. Cause if you let them sit around for a while, the top uh, kind of gets soggy. You know, this whole interior is super hot. It's steaming. It's gonna steam out the crust. You could put little vents to try to avoid that, but it would ruin the look of it a little bit in my opinion. Uh, so just bake them when you're ready to eat them. And they will be a really delicious treat. I can promise you that. With the M, M without the A, D Put the burgers in my money, super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my A-team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision